Welcome everyone to the What Happens When channel, where everyday questions are answered. Before we get into it, why don't you hit the subscribe, like, and smash the notification bell. Okay, let's do this. The raw power of nature has always captivated human imagination, but few forces command as much respect and fear as tsunamis. Today, we're delving deep into the science, impact, and survival dynamics of these devastating oceanic phenomena that have shaped coastlines and communities throughout history. Before we begin, take a moment to consider your own proximity to the ocean. And remember to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Picture yourself standing on a peaceful shoreline, waves gently lapping at the sand. Suddenly, something unusual catches your attention. The ocean begins to retreat, exposing seafloor that hasn't seen daylight in generations. This seemingly innocent phenomenon is actually one of nature's most serious warning signs. What you're witnessing are the opening moments of a tsunami event, where the next few minutes could mean the difference between life and death. Tsunamis, often miscalled tidal waves, are actually a series of powerful ocean waves triggered by underwater disturbances, such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or underwater landslides. Unlike regular ocean waves that are generated by wind, tsunamis are caused by the displacement of massive amounts of water, creating waves that can travel across entire oceans at astonishing speeds reaching up to 500 miles per hour, faster than most commercial aircraft. The physics behind tsunamis reveals their true destructive potential. In deep ocean waters, these waves might pass beneath ships unnoticed. As their wavelength can stretch for hundreds of miles while only rising a few feet in height, However, as these waves approach shallower coastal waters, their speed decreases while their height increases dramatically, following the principle of wave energy conservation. This transformation creates the towering walls of water that can reach heights of 100 feet or more. What makes tsunamis particularly dangerous is their unpredictability and the cascading nature of their destruction. The initial wave is rarely the most destructive, a cruel trick of nature that has cost countless lives throughout history. The subsequent waves, often arriving minutes or hours after the first, typically carry more energy and debris, making them significantly more devastating. This pattern creates a deadly cycle where survivors of the first wave might let their guard down, only to face even greater danger from following waves. Modern technology has revolutionized our ability to detect and warn against tsunamis, but these systems are far from perfect. The Pacific Tsunami Warning System, established after the devastating 1,946th Alaska earthquake and tsunami, represents humanity's first coordinated effort to create an early warning network. Today, this system includes deep ocean sensors, seismic monitoring stations, and sophisticated computer models that work together to predict tsunami behavior and issue warnings. However, the effectiveness of warning systems depends heavily on human response and community preparation. Studies have shown that communities with regular tsunami drills and clear evacuation protocols have significantly higher survival rates. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, which claimed over 230,000 lives across multiple countries, taught us the harsh lesson that technology alone cannot save lives. Public education and community preparedness are equally crucial. The impact of a tsunami extends far beyond the immediate destruction of the waves. When a tsunami makes landfall, it doesn't just bring water. It carries with it millions of tons of debris from sand and rocks to vehicles and building materials. This debris-laden water becomes a high-speed battering ram that can destroy reinforced concrete structures and reshape entire coastlines. The force of a tsunami can push seawater miles inland, contaminating freshwater supplies, destroying agricultural land with salt water, and leaving behind devastated infrastructure that can take years or decades to rebuild. Environmental impacts of tsunamis create long-lasting challenges for affected regions. Saltwater intrusion into groundwater aquifers can render water supplies undrinkable for years. The destruction of coastal ecosystems, including mangrove forests and coral reefs that naturally protect coastlines, leaves communities more vulnerable to future disasters. The redistribution of sediments and debris can create new environmental hazards, including the release of toxic materials from damaged industrial facilities. Social structures face severe tests during and after tsunami events. Historical records show that communities with strong social bonds and established mutual aid networks tend to recover more quickly from tsunami disasters. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in Japan demonstrated how even a highly prepared nation could be overwhelmed. 
yet also showed the remarkable resilience of communities that maintained strong social connections. The psychological impact of tsunamis often outlasts the physical damage. Survivors frequently develop post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, anxiety, and depression. Children who experience tsunamis show higher rates of emotional and behavioral problems, highlighting the need for long-term mental health support in affected communities. The constant vigilance required in tsunami-prone areas can create a persistent state of anxiety, affecting daily life and decision-making. Understanding tsunami survival requires acknowledging that preparation begins long before any warning signs appear. Coastal communities must develop and maintain comprehensive evacuation plans, clearly marked escape routes, and regular drills. Individual preparation includes knowing the natural warning signs, keeping emergency supplies ready, and having a communication plan for family members. The golden rule of tsunami survival is simple but critical. When in doubt, head to higher ground immediately. The role of infrastructure in tsunami resilience cannot be overstated. Countries like Japan have invested heavily in seawalls, evacuation towers, and building codes designed to withstand tsunami forces. However, these engineering solutions must be balanced with environmental considerations and the preservation of coastal ecosystems that provide natural protection against waves. Climate change adds another layer of complexity to tsunami preparedness. Rising sea levels increase the potential impact area of tsunamis, while more frequent extreme weather events can complicate evacuation efforts. Coastal communities must now plan for multiple scenarios where tsunami risks combine with other climate-related challenges. International cooperation has become increasingly important in tsunami preparedness and response. The development of regional warning systems, shared scientific research, and coordinated disaster response protocols demonstrates how tsunamis have forced diverse communities to work together. This collaboration extends beyond government agencies to include scientific institutions, humanitarian organizations, and local community groups. Public education plays a crucial role in tsunami survival. Studies show that communities with higher awareness levels of tsunami risks and appropriate responses have significantly better outcomes during actual events. This education must be ongoing and adapt to changing demographics, including considerations for vulnerable populations such as the elderly, disabled, and tourists who may be unfamiliar with local warning systems. The economic impact of tsunamis extends far beyond immediate damage to infrastructure and property. Tourism, fishing industries, and local economies can take years to recover. Insurance markets in tsunami-prone regions often struggle to provide adequate coverage, creating additional challenges for recovery and rebuilding efforts. The global nature of modern supply chains means that tsunami impacts can ripple through the world economy. As we look to the future, new technologies offer hope for improved tsunami prediction and protection. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are being applied to better understand tsunami behavior and improve warning systems. Satellite technology and social media platforms are being integrated into emergency communication networks, providing multiple channels for critical warnings and coordination of response efforts. The power of tsunamis reminds us of our place in nature's grand scheme. While we cannot prevent these natural phenomena, we can work together to build more resilient communities and improve our chances of survival. Whether you live in a coastal area or simply care about human safety and environmental protection, understanding tsunamis is crucial for our collective future. As we conclude this exploration of tsunami impacts and survival, consider your own role in disaster preparedness. What steps can you take to protect yourself and your community? How can we better support those living in tsunami-prone regions? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And let's continue this important conversation about safety, resilience, and our relationship with the ocean's most powerful forces. Remember, knowledge and preparation are our best defenses against nature's most formidable challenges. Stay informed, stay prepared, and stay safe. Together, we can build a more resilient future in the face of these awesome natural phenomena. Thanks for watching.